Sup, sup, everyone. I'm It's Really Timmy B, and we are back with another 100% factually correct tier ranking. This time, we are tier ranking all of the Mega Evolutions in Pokemon. For those of you who don't know, Mega Evolutions are back in 2025, as today is Pokemon Day. So, happy Pokemon Day to everybody out there. But they did announce Pokemon Legend Z. Dash A. But anyways, Mega Evolutions were really, really cool. They made all of our favorite Pokemon a little bit cooler in design. Some got really badass. Some look like they took steroids and some are just pure garbage. But we're going to figure that out for ourselves in this tier ranking list. So without me chit chatting, folks, make sure you hit that thumbs up button to like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 25,000 subscribers before 2025. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out all the videos and streams on the channel past present and future of it's really timmy b and comment down below which one is your favorite mega evolution or if you have a pokemon out there that you deserve should get a mega evolution put it in the comments all right let's go let's start off we got mega venusaur we're going here in pokedex order so we're starting off with mega venusaur here honestly really really cool we love venusaur we love bulbasaur uh the plant got a little bit bigger we went through some photosynthesis we got uh you know more plants more leaves more shade for those of you who like it sunny but honestly in terms of like all of the mega evolutions like it's okay it's good uh, I think just out of respect for Bulbasaur and the Bulbasaur line, it's better than average. So we're going to go ahead and put Mega Venusaur in B. Next up, we have Mega Charizard X, the Fire Dragon, the Charizard. Everybody wanted Charizard to be, I think. We're going to go ahead and put this in S tier. As you guys saw in my 100% accurate, factually correct Dragon tier rankings, as well as Gym Leader rankings. Make sure you guys go check out those videos as well. We put that pretty high. I don't know it's GOAT tier. It's S tier for now. I forgot I put in the GOAT tier and the Trash tier. So we'll put you in S. And at the end of the video, we'll see who is the true GOAT and who is the true trash of the bunch. Wow, true trash. Try saying that five times fast. Anyways, Mega Charizard Y is coming up next. And it basically basically just is a mega evolution of Charizard. Mega Charizard X, the dragon one, really, really cool. Changes color, changes typing. This one would be like if, you know, you just said mega evolved Charizard the way you did with Venusaur or Blast Toys. Uh, so for that, honestly, we're going to put you in the D tier for dough. I don't know. Uh, mega Blast Toys, really, really cool. Gets a third cannon, has bad posture now, but he's going to laser you with those cannons. So for that, we got to put you in A. I don't know if I can put you in S right now, but we'll put you in A and now Mega Beedrill. Wow. What a homie on Mega Beedrill. Literally all attack and speed. That's all it's good for. It is paper thin, but it's going to outspeed you and it's going to sting you pretty hard. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, baby. So for that Mega Beedrill, we put you in the A tier. Yeah, you guys thought I was putting in B. No, no, no. A tier, Mega Beedrill. Mega Pidgeot is up next. Honestly, early route bird. We all love Pidgeot. Use it so many times on my red, blue, and yellow teams and my fire red and leaf green teams. Uh, you know, really, really solid Mon. The Mega exist. It exists. Um, it's not good. It's not bad in my eyes. So we'll put you in the C tier for average. Next up, the homie, the Spoon Master himself. If you guys have ever lost a spoon before in your life, raising up my chair a little bit, my chair likes to fall down, but whatever. If you guys have ever lost a spoon in the laundry or dishwasher or laundry, I don't know how you wash your spoons, but if you ever lost a spoon, Mega Alakazam has taken it away from you. He looks so cool. Honestly, a really great typing too. You guys know I love my psychic types, but we got to put you in S. S for spoons and sporks. All right. Mega Slowbro's up next. Honestly, kind of cool. You know, you know me. I love my Starmie. So not the ideal water psychic type that I would like to have gotten a Mega here from Gen 1. But I digress. Starmie is perfect. Doesn't need a Mega. Doesn't need a regional form. But if there is one, I'm okay with it. I'm okay. Honestly, he's really cool. He has no head in this, this tier list. He actually has no tail either. It's just a shell. It's actually a really, really cool design. So for that, I will put you in the C tier. Uh, you probably would have been D or F, honestly. But I like the design of it. Uh, Mega Gengar is up next. The only good shiny in the Gengar line. You know what? Actually, Ghastly and Haunter aren't that bad. Uh, but yeah, shiny Gengar, oof. Oof, Anonymous. 
Um, so yeah, Mega Gengar, really, really cool. He's got the fist, kind of like a uh, like a like a gorilla, like a monkey. Uh, so he's really, really awesome. Again, it's hard to put you anything less in B or C. We got to put Mega Gengar in A. Maybe we put you in S. Maybe we put you in S. Uh, but anyways, Mega Kangaskhan is coming out next. The kid is out of the pouch, and the ability Parental Bond is really cool. The mommy hits and the baby hits for a little extra damage, which is a really good ability, especially in any sort of randomizer Nuzlocke or randomized battles or anything like that. So Mega Kangaskhan, I really like the design. It does answer the question of what happens when the baby is grown and is out of the pouch. Well, it's a pretty awesome combination of mama and baby. So for that, we got to put you in the S here. I like Mega Kangaskhan. I do. It's really powerful. Just a normal type. But I think that parental bond, I think that just puts it up in the S tier with Charizard and Alakazam. Uh, next up, we have Mega Pinsir. Honestly, maybe the scariest of the designs. Every time I see one, it's a little jump scare of like, oh, Mega Pinsir. But then again, it is a bug and bugs are kind of gross or they should be, right? Um... That's really all I know about Mega Pinsir. I think just because of the design, I'm not a big fan of it. It is a little scary. We're going to put you in the D tier with Mega Charizard Y. Now you have a homie there in the D tier. Mega Gyarados. Mega Gyarados, dude, what is good? Water Dark type. If only you were Water Dragon, right? That would make a little bit more sense. But Mega Gyarados is Water Dark. Honestly, still a really, really awesome typing. Uh, the design is okay. They kind of just... They just bleh, they just bleh, blew him up a little bit, um, made him a little bit chunkier, which is fine. Made him a little bit more shorter. I think you're just average Mega Gyarados. I mean, if your design was a little bit better, I could probably put you in B with Mega Venusaur. But it's just my chair just keeps going down. All right, I need to get a new chair. Uh, but yeah, I think you're just average. Like you're just there. I would probably put you more in line with the Slowbro and the Pidgeot than I would uh, the Venusaur or even down a tier with the Charizard and the Pinsir. Next up, Mega Aerodactyl. My goodness, man. I love Aerodactyl so much. Really, really great for the Kaizo Ironmon streams. Uh, if you guys want to check him out, we do love our Aerodactyl. The Mega Aerodactyl is not the best design. They just kind of added some rocks to him. They gave him a, a, a pointy beard. And in a lot of cartoons and, and, you know, evil TV shows, like pointy beard, not the best design. I don't know if I can put you in F just out of respect for my love for Aerodactyl, but it's close, man, it's close. We gotta put you in D. Next up, Mega Mewtwo X, the Fighting Psychic one, really, really cool. Uh, we're gonna put you in the B tier. I don't think you're A or S. Uh, I do love Mewtwo. I do love this form a little bit better than the Y form. Uh, speaking of the Y form, Mega Mewtwo Y, he kind of looks like the principal from Sky High, the bald, big brain kind of homie. Uh, so that is always, I always think of him when I see Mega Mewtwo Y. Uh, honestly, Probably would prefer it a little bit more in battle because the special attack is so high and I do love my special attacks, but I gotta, I, I just, can I put you in F? Like, can I, can I actually put you in F? I can't, right? You're Mewtwo. You're gonna bot me, but we'll put you in D, uh, but you are on that D minus F plus kind of tier if that one exists. I mean, I just, ugh, the, ugh. All right. Gen 2 now, we're on a Mega Ampharos. I rated this pretty high in the Dragon tier list, uh, mainly because of the Mad Flow. It gets the Dragon typing, which is really, really cool. The next Electric Dragon, except for Zekrom uh, at the time of this game. So for that, man, we got to put you in A. The Mad F the Flow does it, man. The Flow does it. If you have some lettuce, you're, you're good in Timmy B's book. All right, Mega Steelix is up next. I also need to just stop saying all right. That's like, that's my bugaboo. I, I just keep saying all right, but whatever. Let's do an all right counter. Somebody in the comments let me know how many times I said all right. All right, all right, all right. We got Mega Steelix here and uh, you exist. You're a Pokemon. Yeah, uh, the design's kind of cool. It's a little bit better than like a Mega Aerodactyl or some of the other like Rocky type Pokemon. Uh, but honestly, I think you're probably... I think you're B tier. I think you're better than these three. I think you're better than the Pidgeot, Slowbro, Gyarados, uh, but you're not quite the A tier, but I think you're more in line with the, the Mega Mewtwo and the Mega Venusaur. So we'll put you in B, homie. We like you, you're cool. Mega Scizor is up next and uh, looks like a very interesting design. Got like, looks like actual scissors this time for hands. 
and uh, it's really, really cool. Still super, super weak to fire, uh, but I guess that doesn't really matter. Just don't bring it out against a fire type Pokemon, like Mega Camera up right below it. So I think Mega Scizor, honestly, where's my mouse? There it is. We're gonna put you in, oh. Uh... I <sighs> see your average your average ah, you know what B I like the design I like the design we'll put you in B now here we go mega Heracross Heracross might be my favorite gen 2 Pokemon if not my favorite gen 2 Pokemon and I'm not gonna lie guys I'm not gonna lie no cap as the young kids call it no cap 100% factually correct they did my boy dirty they did my boy dirty. Mega Heracross, great Pokemon. Really fun to use. Heracross is a great Pokemon to use. Mega Heracross, very, very good in the game. The design is so bad. Oh man, this might be the trash. This might be the trash. I love you, Heracross. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. But this mega design just ain't it. I gotta put you in F. Hopefully you can forgive me. F for forgive. Heracross, you're really, really cool. I mean, like, all these designs look so awesome and cool. And then it was like, hey, uh, I make a Heracross, hi. Like, come on, man. Make Heracross look cooler. You made him look worse. Huh. That's more of a Pokemon thing. I love Heracross. Like I said, I love you. I love you. I love you. Mega Heracross just ain't it for me. Next up, we got a much better design of a Mega. We got Mega Houndoom coming to the party. Do you have a face? It doesn't look like you have a face. But anyways, Mega Houndoom, we're putting you, I think we put you in the S tier. I think you're very much deserved of being in the S tier. We had to have a Gen 2 Mega in here, and I think Houndoom is better than Mega Amphros, Caesar, Steelix, Heracross. I love Mega Houndoom. The design is awesome. Really, really cool. So that is an S tier. And then Mega Titar is a uh, Mega Tyranitar. What's up, homie? I think you're really cool. I think we're just going to put you in... You're kind of wide and pointy. You're probably not very good around balloons. You're B. You're B. You're B. You're B. You're B. I said it. I said it. I said it. Mega Tyranitar is B. Mega Sceptile is up next. We're going into Gen 3 now, uh, which is most of the Megas. It was almost like they were remaking Gen 3 when Gen 6 and Mega Evolutions came out. Uh, Mega Sceptile, got the Dragon type, just has a really longer tail, got a few extra spots on the back. I don't know where I put this on my Dragon tier list, I can't remember. I put it down low, D or F, but we're gonna give Mega Heracross a homie. Mega Sceptile, it just doesn't do it for me. I like Grass Dragon, I think that's a really fun and unique typing, but the design, I'm not more of a Sceptile kind of guy. Uh, I like Swampert and Blaziken a little bit more, although Sceptile is cool. You're in the F tier, what can I say? Mega Blaziken up out next. He's got the cool flames. He's got the high knees, all that stuff. I think Mega Blaziken is probably the best of the three. But that's not saying much. <laughs> that's really not saying much. They really did the Gen 3 starters a little dirty here with their uh, Mega Evolutions. I think Blaziken is probably in the B tier. I don't know if it, if it holds its own with the A tier. Maybe it gets in the A. Definitely better than C. It's going to go into B. Mega Swamper, we do love you, homie. We do. You definitely hit the gym. You hit the steroids. You bulked up a little bit. But I just... I don't know what it is about the design. I just, ah, I don't know. Swampert is just so lovable. And he's like, hi, I'm Swampert. I'm Shrek. And now this one is like, I'm Swampert. Like, I, I just don't know. So for that, I got to put you in D tier. Much respect to Swampert. Much respect to Mega Swampert as well. But you're just not doing it for me, dog. D for dog. All right. Mega Gardevoir is up next. Mega Gardevoir really doesn't change as well. I mean, it gets the fairy typing now in Gen 6. Uh, really, just the skirt gets a little bit bigger, which is fine. Hey, it's fashionable. That was in in whatever year X and Y came out uh, and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. That was in for fashion, guys. I don't know if you know fashion. I mean, look at this t-shirt from... I think the year that the game came out, like 10 years ago. <laughs> but anyways, so Mega Gardevoir, really, really cool. I think you're probably in like C tier. I think you're average. Maybe you're D tier, but I, I like, you're just, you didn't really change that much. That's all I have to say. Mega Sableye, dude. This Mon, man. This Mon is cool. The gem comes out. He He's struggling to carry it a little bit, but Mega Sableye, 
I, I really like this Pokemon. We're going to put you in the A tier for the 18 with Ampharos and Gengar. I think you you align more there. Mega Mawile is cool. Mawile is also one of those Pokemon that got my chair is going again, whatever. Just friendly reminder, like the stream video, like the video, video, video. Well, like the stream too, but also like the video. Mega Mawile also got the fairy type. Mawile got the fairy type. And honestly, really cool. Like she had the jaw like hairline on the back and it was kind of like, what happens if that comes alive or, or if it becomes super scary? We found that out in the Mega Evolution line. And um, where do we put you? B maybe? I think we put you in B. Yeah, Mega Agron. Agron's really cool. I do like Mega Agron. It's kind of nice. It get it loses the rock type. It's just pure steel. So that does help a little bit uh, with some of its weaknesses. Uh, not entirely, but it still helps out a little bit. The design is okay. It just got a little bit bigger, a little bit shinier. I think we put you in the seats here. I like I, I probably like before recording this, I would have been like, no way Mega Mawile is higher than Mega Agron. But that's the way these 100% accurate, factually correct tier list go. That That's just the way the cookie crumbles. And uh, next up, we have Mega Metacham. I really, really like this design. It has pure power, which makes it even scarier now that it has 100 more BST added to it. And uh, yeah, Mega Metacham is really, really good. And we're going to put you in the A tier. I think that is where you belong. I love the design. The typing is really, really cool. And like I said, that ability of pure power or huge power, they're, they're the same. Uh, with the additional BST, Mega Metacham is a really, really scary mod. Next up, we have Mega Manetric, and kind of like the Mega Swampert and the Mega Agron. I'm not the biggest fan of the design here, so I think we're just going to put you in F. I like Manetric. I do like its stats, but I'm just the design just doesn't do it for me. I mean, again, look at all some of these badass designs, and then they just, like, drop the ball in a few of them. Uh, but we got Mega Sharpedo up next, the homie, Ark, shout out, legend. Sharpedo, I love sharks. Sharks are probably my favorite animal. Definitely my favorite sea animal. Uh, let me know which one is your favorite animal, but I love sharks. If I could be any animal, I would probably be a shark. So Mega Sharpedo, I always love Sharpedo. I love Mega Sharpedo. I think it's really, really cool, but I don't know if I can put it in the A tier, to be honest. Uh, the design is okay. It seems like they just kind of combined every single shark into one, uh, which is cool, but it's like part hammerhead, part like great white, part Mako. So... I think like I like what they were trying to do here. I think we just put you in the B tier for now. Maybe we bump you up to A, but you're definitely above average in my book. Good, good job, Mega Sharpedo. Mega Camerupt is actually a little bit kind of cooler than some of these other ones like Mega Swampert and Mega Manetric that um, just seem to have gotten just like a little bit bigger uh, because the humps on Camerupt is now an active volcano. Uh, Eruption is really cool on this. Does not like water, but you know, that's what camera up does so for camera up mega camera up i'm actually i think i put you in b tier as well i think you are better than agron and and uh thingamajiggy gardevoir and, and some of these other guys because i do like that active cannon uh, on you i think that it's a really really cool design even though you did even though i said like they just these guys just got like a little bit chunkier so to this but it added a volcano who doesn't like volcanoes mega altaria we already know we already know s tier absolutely beautiful pokemon the first dragon fairy typing, right? First dragon fairy, absolutely a, a giant floof ball, great type, beautiful Pokemon, and yeah, S tier. Honestly, we might have a run on the S and A tiers for the next couple of Pokemon, because Mega Banette is up next, and I love Mega Banette. Really, really cool, fantastic stats. It looks really cool. It has Prankster as well, which definitely it does look like a Prankster. So Mega Banette, I think we put you in the... I think we also put you in the S tier. I think I think you deserve that. Mega Absol. Mega, 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 mega Absol. What's up, homie? Mega Absol is here to party. It's an absolutely beautiful Pokemon. Makes a not so great Pokemon. Absol is a good Pokemon, not a great Pokemon. The Mega makes it a great Pokemon. Can I put you on the same tier as Mega Bonnet, though? I think I can. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's let's make that S tier beautiful. Mega Glalie is up next. Honestly, I kind of like Mega Glalie. I think it's really cool. Uh, I like that they opened up the jaw because Glalie was just an ice ball. And now it's a scary ice ball that's also kind of a unicorn with its horn. So I do like Mega Glalie. I don't know if I can put you up in S. I don't know if I can put you up in A. Oh, man, where do we put you? 
Glalie. Glalie, where do we where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? B? A? I don't know if I can do A. I don't know if I can do B. Putting you in A tier, let's go, let's do it. Mega Salamance, we're here, guys, in my dragon tier list that you all saw. Appreciate all the support on that video, by the way. You guys are amazing. I love you all. I'm not the biggest fan of the design, to be honest. Like, obviously, Salamance is a powerful Pokemon. Mega Salamance is a really, really powerful Pokemon as well. I'm just not a fan of the design. Like, it actually looks like it's on, like, a flying saucer. Like, actual plate. So, I think you're probably in... Oh! <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> that was funny. All right, we're back. Uh, like I said, I think you're probably average here in terms of the rest of the Mega Pokemon. In all the dragons, I think you were put you in D or F, but I think in terms of all the other Megas, you're a little bit better than these guys, so we'll put you in C for average Mega Metagross up next. I mean, come on now. Come on now, it's Mega Metagross. You know where we're putting this. We're putting this in the S tier, absolute homie. Definitely a great design. He goes boom to boom. He goes from I'm a kitty to wow, I'm a cat. That's basically Metagross because he is a cat. Um, Megaladius, Megaladios, they're okay. Like, <sighs> these next three, I think they kind of did them dirty. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of Mega Rayquaza's design. Kind of like Mega Salamance. Didn't do so high on the Dragon tier list, mainly because of the design, but you can't deny it's a super awesome and powerful Pokemon. So, I'm going to put Rayquaza in... Actually, you know what? In terms of the other Megas, it's probably B tier. Latios and Latios, I think, are just kind of average here. Latios, again, with no head. I don't know what, what's up with that. Oh, but they're, like, high-fiving. That's cool. That's more of a headbutt, but whatever. And now we're on to Gen 4. We only have a few more left, guys. There's not a lot of Mega Evolutions. Mega Low Pony is really, really cool. Gets the normal fighting type, which I don't know if we saw before. Maybe we did. I don't know. Uh, but Mega Low Pony is kind of cool. I think... Mm, I don't know if I can put you in A tier. We can put you in B tier for sure. Mega Garchomp. Mega Garchomp is definitely A. Mega Lucario. Oh man, this is free in the games. It's free. I think we put you in S. Mega Obama Snow is kind of cool as well. Um, I like it. Definitely got a bigger tree. Still not, doesn't like fire, doesn't like ember, doesn't like flames, but... That's okay. Like Scissor, just don't use it against a fire type Pokemon. I think you're average though, Obama Snow. Like, I'm not gonna lie, homie. I think you're right there. Mega Gallade is so dope. So, so dope, guys. So, so dope. Um, I love it. We're gonna put you in A tier. I don't think you belong in S. Maybe. Nah, yeah, nope. You're A. You're A. You're A. We can't oversaturate the S. Now, Mega Aldino is the only Gen 5 Mega. And if you want to talk about bulk, just look up this thing's stats. I mean, this is just pure bulk, no speed, normal fairy, a couple of resistances as well. The design is okay. The design is okay. I think we put you in the C tier. I think you're just average. Uh, you're definitely better than regular Aldino, 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 Aldino. La, 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 la. Anyways, you're better. C tier. And then Mega Deancey, the game where Mega Evolution was introduced. There's only one Pokemon from this region that can Mega Evolve, and it's Deancey. Uh, somebody in the comments is probably going to rip me because that's like how it was. Oh, oh well, whatever. Uh, but anyways, Mega Deancey is up next, and I think we put you in the D tier for Deancey. I'm not the biggest fan of you. And we are back. Just did a little screen adjustment there, folks. Uh, just wanted to get that text away from the bottom. But I was saying like D for Deancey. I like Mega Deancey. It's kind of cool. It's like a ballroom and stuff. So... Yeah, I think you're in the D tier. I think that's just it. I don't know. I've just never been the biggest fan of you. So maybe that's why. Maybe it's a personal vendetta. Whatever. I like to talk with my hands a little bit too, guys, in case you haven't noticed. Now it's time for the goat and the trash. The trash. The trash. I think has to go to Mega Manetric here. It probably would be Heracross. It honestly probably would. But because I love Heracross so much and it's my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon, I can't put you in the trash. So you're still F for your Mega, but not trash. Trash is Mega Manetric. Dude, it is hard to pick a goat out of this, man. Wow. I mean, we've got Mega Charizard X. I feel like that would probably be the cop-out choice. Uh, Mega Alakazam is awesome. Mega Kangaskhan is cool. Mega Houndoom, Altaria, Banette, Absol, Metagross, and Lucario. Honestly, I think our goat I think our goat is going to be a dog in Houndoom. 
Mega Houndoom, congratulations on getting the GOAT status of Mega Evolutions. Friendly reminder, folks, this is a 100% factually accurate tier list. Nobody, no, I'm just kidding. You guys are right. Everybody has their own opinions, but this is Timmy B's tier list of Mega Evolutions. Once again, folks, make sure you hit that thumbs up button to like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel as well. We will see you in other future tier rankings. Let me know what you want me to rank in the Pokemon world. Let me know your favorite, all that stuff, comments, blah, 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 blah. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.